guys, it's Melody. Um, I am going to be doing my cover, and then I'm actually going to be letting you guys in on a little bit that's been happening in my life lately. Um, I know, don't I do that every week, but um, I've got a lot I want to update you guys on, uh, just kind of keep you in the loop. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. I was a liar, I gave in to the fire I know I should've fought it, at least I'm being honest Feel like a failure, cause I know that I failed you I should've done you better, cause you don't want a liar And I know, and I know, and I know she gives you everything But boy, I couldn't give it to you And I know, and I know, and I know that you got everything But I got nothing here without you so one last time, I need to be the one who takes you home One more time, I promise after that, I'll let you go Baby, I don't care if you got her in your heart I really care as you wake up in my arms So one last time, I need to be the one who takes you home I don't deserve it, I know I don't deserve it But stay with me a minute, I swear I'll make it worth it Can't you forgive me, at least just temporarily I know that this is my fault, I should have been more careful And I know and I know and I know that you got everything But boy I couldn't give it to you and I know, and I know, and I know you can got everything But I got nothing here without you So one last time I need to be the one who takes you home One more time I promise after that I'll let you go Baby, I don't care if you got her in your heart I really care as you wake up in my arms One last time I need to be the one who takes you home I know I should've fought it, at least I'm being honest Just stay with me a minute, I swear I'll make it worth it, baby Cause I don't wanna be without you So one last time I need to be The one who takes you home One more time I promise after that I'll let you go Baby I don't care if you got her in your heart I really care as you wake up in my arms One last I need to be the one who takes you home One last time I need to be the one who takes you home That song is pretty And I feel like in a way I can relate to it Um Anywho My computer's being all weird Um so yeah, update on how things are going in my life. Um, I made it through school last week, just in case you were wondering. Um, it was difficult, but I did it, and that's all that matters. Um, still, you know, just trying really hard to make it through. Um, it's been okay. Uh, seeing my ex mooching all over my friend, ex-friend, is not the most fun thing to watch. Um, Honestly, it, it pretty much kills me, um, but it is what it is, and um, just got to make it through, you know, 85 more days, including weekends, till I graduate, and I'm counting it, that's for sure. Um, in regards to violin and how that's going, as you guys can see, I posted my um, audition uh, from Saturday. It was for a solo ensemble competition, and I received a first place. Um, I'm also sitting 
concert master at my school right now, and I'm in another symphony outside of school, which has been so much fun to be a part of. Um, I love every minute of it, and I'm making tons of great new friends. Um, I'm also playing for the school musical this week, which is uh, going to be lots of fun. Come check it out if you know who I am and, you know, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, if you want details, go ahead and message me. Um, in regards to colleges, I have it narrowed down to four. Uh, they are Maryville University, Eastern Kentucky University, Eastern Illinois University, and the University of Louisiana at Monroe. Um, right now my top school is Maryville. Uh, I already have a roommate. My friend Callie is going to be my roommate, and um, assuming that I go there, which right now is looking pretty hopeful. They also um, called me yesterday and gave me the chance to study abroad. I guess I was one of 14 students chosen, and basically what that means is um, next summer, because I'm going to have to postpone it due to my daycare kids, um, I will go to Oxford, England, and I will spend time there um, just kind of learning all about the culture and the political um, influences of society. And then the following year, I would do a summer in some place, and the year after that I do an entire semester. Um, this place could be, they gave me the list of like Brazil, Florence, um, Rome, Switzerland, Sweden, uh, Asia, um, where else is there, South Africa, um, France, I don't know, they gave me a really long list of places that I go and I get to pick the next two years after Oxford. Um, so that's pretty exciting. Um, I don't know. It's a lot to think about, but I'm very excited. Um, and then my last thing is I do have a boyfriend. I guess not officially. Um, my dad and I were having issues this weekend, so it didn't wind up happening. But um, we're, we're going to be official. We basically know at this point it's going to happen. Um, he is on spring break right now, which is nice because, let me tell you, long-distance relationships are hard. He lives over an hour away or he goes to school over an hour away, and so he only comes home on the weekends, which is when I get to see him, assuming our work schedules match up or we can figure out a time that we can hang out. So um, it's difficult, but we're making it through it. Um, he's amazing. My friends love him. They ask him to do everything, you know, with us. Um, and he was actually, he was going to come to our school tomorrow and eat lunch with me, but our school is being stupid and won't let him come. Um, but he is going to come to my play Thursday night, so I'm pretty excited about that. He is absolutely incredible. And I think with this relationship, what's different from my last one is my last one, I let my guard down um, pretty big, pretty much, pretty big time. And um, I trusted this person. I wanted nothing more than to make them happy. I worked really hard on myself, and um, in the end it wasn't good enough. And um, so with this relationship, it's I've kind of gone into it in a different way. Um, I'm not as clingy as I was, um, which is good. I We've never fought, we've never had an argument, and we've been seeing each other for probably four or five months now at this point. Um, so we never, we never fight. Um, and you know, I, I have my guard up, you know, I've got some, some barriers just because my ex made me a lot of promises that he never kept. And so, you know, this guy is very sweet and he's telling me lots of sweet things, but I've kind of, I'm kind of going into it with the mindset of, hey, you know, whoa, 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 this might, this might not be the case. Like, you have to take a step back and you have to just look at it with a more logical perspective that, hey, you know, he wants you guys to, you know, live happily ever after, but there's a possibility, there's a very big possibility that that won't happen. Um, I know right now I'm very, very happy with him, but I just, I've, I'm more protective of myself in this relationship so far, and um, it's been good, you know? I've, I'm actually really enjoying it, and I wish I would have known this my first relationship, because then I don't think I would have gotten hurt so badly. Um, but it is what it is. I'm still hurting because of the mistakes that I made. Um, 
But no, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm happy with this guy. I cannot wait. This summer, he's actually going to be living down the street. And um, I can't wait for him to meet my daycare kids. They are going to love him. I know it. They are just, they're going to love him. He is the funniest, sweetest guy out there. Um, anyway, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to uh, finish uploading and sign off. Sorry I talked so much. I just wanted to kind of let you guys know how I've been. Um, because you don't always get to see that. So, um, thank you so much. You guys know I love you. Please like and subscribe to my channel and my videos. I uh, try to put new videos out every Tuesday-ish. Um, but yeah. Okay, bye guys. Mwah.